Good morning. So I want to encourage you this morning. And the thing is, is that when Satan tries to get busy, we know that we don't wrestle against flesh, but we wrestle against principalities and Satan himself. So it's not flesh that we wrestle against. So I want to say this on Romans chapter 6, verse, thir verse 13, it says, Do not let any part of your bodies become tools of wickedness to be used for sinning. But give yourself completely to God, every part of you, for you are back from death and you want to be you and you want to be tools in the hands of God to be used for the good purposes. So let me say this, that when Satan tries to come for you, or come at you and, you know, try to disrupt your day or tries to do something that thinks that he's going to disrupt your day. I'm going to say this. He definitely will try. But guess what? God says for us to not let our bodies become parts of sinning. So that means that you be the peacemaker. You be the one that gives us a, a soft spoken word of encouragement to the person. Let me say this. A lot of times when people are used for Satan's tools or they're angry or mad or something or they come to you to try to get some kind of reaction out of you or to try to say something mean to you. It's, it's basically to get you to respond to it, to get you, you know, doing something that is not pleasing to God to get you. But here's the thing is that God gave us promises. God said that we would also, we would, we would be rewarded, but the meek inherit the earth and that we will be tested. We will go through some things. We will go through some, some trials. We will go through a lot of things. But if you keep holding on to what God promised to you, what God said that he would do for you the things that God is going to bless you with and that God will not let the enemy overtake you. And so the thing is, is that when the enemy tries to come to you and give you bad news, I've learned, here's what I've learned a while back. And I've learned this because I got tired of my peace being stolen. When, when someone comes for you and they say some mean things to you, just ignore them and the enemy and, 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 you know, just ignore them. And when you give soft spoken words back to people that try to disrupt your peace, then you can't, you can't, you can't make a fire blaze without no gasoline, without any lighter fluid. So it's like, if you don't add any fuel to the fuel to the fire, it can't keep going. It has to stop. And when you apply the word of God to that fire, it's going to go out. So I say that don't allow anyone to blaze you up, but put the fire out with water, the water of the word of God.